the angel of the Lord declared unto me. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. And the word was made flesh. O Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Amen. Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God. Let us pray. For forth we beseech thee, O Lord, thy grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ thy Son was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Eternal rest grant to them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins and prepare ourselves for these sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned. In my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, to you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Lord have mercy, Christ have mercy, Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, glory of the faithful and life of the just, by the death and resurrection of whose Son we have been redeemed, look mercifully on your departed servants that just as they professed the mystery of our resurrection, so they may merit to receive the joys of eternal happiness. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God for ever and ever. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Hope is not deceptive, because the love of God has been poured into our hearts by the Holy Spirit, which has been given us. We were still helpless when at his appointed moment Christ died for sinful men. It is not easy to die, even for a good man, though of course for someone really worthy, a man might be prepared to die. But what proves that God loves us is that Christ died for us while we were still sinners. Having died to make us righteous, is it likely that he would now fail to save us from God's anger? When we were reconciled to God by the death of his Son, we were still enemies. Now that we have been reconciled, surely we may count on being saved by the life of his Son. Not merely because we have been reconciled, but because we are filled with joyful trust in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have already gained our reconciliation. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my light and my help. 
The Lord, the Lord is, is my, my light and, and my help. help. The Lord is my light and my help. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Before whom shall I shrink? The Lord is my light and my help. There is one thing I ask of the Lord, for this I long, to live in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to savour the sweetness of the Lord, to behold his temple. The Lord is my light and my help. O Lord, hear my voice when I call, have mercy and answer. It is your face, O Lord, that I seek. Hide not your face. The Lord, the Lord is, is my Lord. light and my help. I am sure I shall see the Lord's goodness in the land of the living. Hope in him, hold firm and take heart. Hope in the Lord. The Lord is my light and my help. Alleluia, alleluia. It is my Father's will, says the Lord, that I should lose nothing of all that he has given me, and that I should raise it up on the last day. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. When the Sabbath was over, Mary of Magdala, Mary the mother of James and Salome, brought spices with which to go and anoint the body of Jesus. And very early in the morning on the first day of the week, they went to the tomb just as the sun was rising. They had been saying to one another, who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance to the tomb? But when they looked, they could see that the stone, which was very big, had already been rolled back. On entering the tomb, they saw a young man in a white robe seated on the right hand side, and they were struck with amazement. But he said to them, there is no need for alarm. You are looking for Jesus of Nazareth, who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. See, here is the place where they laid him. The Gospel of the Lord. Just briefly, the ultimate and the optimum work of Christian charity is to pray for the dead. This goes right through the entire scriptural tradition and our own great Christian tradition too. And the way we do this, best of all of course, is what we're doing now in and through the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass, which is the optimum and the best prayer because it's the prayer of Jesus Christ. It's Jesus offering himself to us for our sins in sacrifice of his life to God the Father. And specifically today we do this in this Holy Mass and throughout the Mass is celebrated everywhere in the church today for the faithful departed, for those loved ones who have gone before us and even those perhaps who are not loved by us because they're people that we don't know about. But if we did know them, I'm sure we would love them. But the point is, we are praying for all those who are in need of our prayers. And we can't commemorate the faithful departed today without mentioning the purgatory word. Because purgatory is that process of purification, which is undertaken before going into heaven, which is the whole point of the Mass today. And whenever we offer the Mass for the dead, we're praying that they will be released from that purification of purgatory a bit earlier as a result of our prayers. Obviously for God there's no time. God is outside of our spatial experience and existence because for, every, for God everything is immediate, everything is here and now. So we're doing this in our own kind of 
time and space constricted way, but knowing at the same time that this has got amazing supernatural and eternal consequences. So what we do here in the Mass each time is we kind of touch eternity. And we pray that by uniting our prayers, because this is not our effort, the Mass. However holy or unholy I might feel celebrating the Mass, it's not my effort. God just uses our instrumentality because it's all the prayer of Jesus Christ to the Father. So it's God who does it all. It's God in Jesus offering himself to God. That's the essence of the sacrifice at the Mass. And today we do this with a great fervour and with a particular devotion for our loved ones. And as I say, perhaps for those who don't have anyone to pray for them. Hopefully one of the things we could do during this first week of November, we can do it today especially, is to pray in a cemetery. All you've got to do in order to do that is to go on the other side of that wall of the church. In that memorial garden, there's over 50 members of our parish family who are buried close to us here, as is the Catholic tradition, close to the walls of the church, so that physically and spiritually in the communion of saints, they're close to us. So don't all rush out there afterwards because we can't have a mass gathering, otherwise, you know, we'll get into trouble. But, you know, maybe just go there at some point, pray for the holy souls, even just a mental prayer, pray for the intentions of the Pope and our Father, a Hail Mary, a Creed, and go to Holy Communion today, and if you can, to confession within the month, and then you can get a plenary indulgence for the holy souls, which means total wipeout for them. Okay, so it's a little act of charity that we can perhaps make the effort to do on this day and in this first week of November above all. I always think we're doing this work of charity today on the 2nd of November with an eye to the future because one day there'll be people in this church and in other churches praying for your soul and mine. May they rest in peace. Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Almighty and merciful God, by means of these sacrificial offerings, wash away, we pray, in the blood of Christ, the sins of your departed servants. For you purify unceasingly by your merciful forgiveness, those you once cleansed in the waters of baptism through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, 
always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he is the salvation of the world, the life of the human race, the resurrection of the dead. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exultant praise as we acclaim. Holy, heaven and earth. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Ozan in the world. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. And giving you thanks, he said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us. Save us. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to your Son, Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for our failing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Alan, our Bishop, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family we have summoned before you. In your compassion and merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children, scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you, at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory. Through Christ our Lord, through whom we bestow on the world all that is good. 
Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, for ever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your Church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign for ever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Let perpetual light shine upon them, O Lord, with your saints for ever, for you are merciful. Spiritual communion. I wish, Lord, to receive you now with the purity, humility, and devotion with which your most holy mother received you, with the spirit and fervour of the saints. The body of Christ.
Let us pray. Having received the sacrament of your only begotten Son, who was sacrificed for us and rose in glory, we humbly implore you, O Lord, for your departed servants, that cleansed by the Paschal Mysteries, they may glory in the gift of the resurrection to come through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Amen. Hail, Holy Queen, Mother of mercy. Hail our life, our sweetness and our love. For thee do we cry, our banished children. To thee, who send up our signs, mourning and weeping in this veil of tears, turn then, most gracious advocate, thine eyes of mercy towards us. And after this our exile, show unto us the blessed fruit of thy Lord Jesus. O clement, O loving, O sweet Virgin Mary. Holy Michael, Archangel, defend us in the day of battle. We are safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray, and do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, first down into hell Satan, and all the wicked spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Most Sacred Heart of Jesus, Our Lady of Lourdes, Saint Joseph, Holy Guardian Angels, eternal rest grant them, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace.